WECS, Willamette Hartford, DJCityandTheDuke.com. Hello. Very special guest right now. We got homie Kevin W. Reese in studio. I don't like the word special. <laughs> I'm just here. We have man. a very <laughs> challenged. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? I appreciate you guys having me here. Long time no see. I saw you what, like, uh, 17 hours ago. <laughs> at the Webby show. We went to the Webby show at Toad's place. That's right. That's right. It's crazy. Right. Good time. Definitely good time. And uh, I'm gonna lower this music a little bit. And uh, you know, got to see you in action. Which I don't normally get to see. Well, with the interview? Yeah. Sure. The only time, you know, when I see you, you were either, it was like way back in the day when you were yelling at me. <laughs> For those that don't know, Mr. Reese was my teacher. <laughs> way back in broadcasting school days. My goodness. And City, too. City, too. So, back in like 79. Yeah. Do you, do you when know? City do, you, do you fully comprehend what that means? That means I run this show. Mm. <laughs> Although I will say, I will say, oh. I never sit down during this show, and he was just like, "No, no, no, you're gonna sit." I was like, <laughs> "Okay, all right, <laughs> all right." <laughs> uh, so yes, you used to be our teacher. We both went through the uh, commercial radio boot camp. That's right. Where you beat us senseless until we did what you said. That's right. With verbal assault and. All kinds of like waterboarding and waterboarding. It was crazy. Radio waterboarding. Yeah. This sounds fun. You told. I mean, and you know what though? It worked. Cause we're like the hottest show in the world. You, you guys are pretty good. You're better than me. You're better than my show. There's no doubt about it. I'm crying right now. <laughs> I gotta buy that back. <laughs> anyway, so the reason we brought you in tonight, you got a lot of things going on. Yeah. You got your you got your hands in a lot of different cookie jars. Yeah. You're doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You need a bigger staff. Yeah. You got, you're already, Saren's ready to jump <laughs> ship already. $20 a month. That's all we do. Oh, that was That's all I can afford. 20, $20 a month. She gets paid more than, more than we pay her, right? <laughs> but the lights have to be on. Hello. So. This dude scared me, man. That's a former intern. <laughs> listen, yeah. listen here. There's zombies out there, man. <laughs> There's been four. I got. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm talking We're gonna... to you, and out of the corner of my eye. There's some weird dude looking in the window. Uh, we're gonna come because I want to talk. You run a you run a really cool website called Truth Is Scary. Anybody out there is to check out truthiscary.com. Mm -hmm. It's out there. So I have some Truth Is Scary things I want to talk to you about. We'll sure. come back to that. Okay. But we're, a couple things we're gonna talk about tonight with you. You're doing this brand new show called Rated Reese. Yeah. And Cindy and I are actually involved with it. We're really excited about it. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be like a edgy variety show. Correct. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be. Uh, idiotically intelligent, right? I like it. Okay. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Truth is Scary. We're going to talk about the fact that you are a changed man. Mm -hmm. you, you're on this whole other path now to enlightenment. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about that. It's all about the pineal gland. I, after last time I looked it up. You did? I did. <laughs> I bet you, because right I, I, was, I was wearing... See? A t-shirt. I saw the shirt. I saw the shirt in the interview. Right? And, and you know how many people probably Dude, Googled that? Oh, yeah. yeah like I did. So, all right. I wanna, can we talk about Truth is Scary first? Sure. All right. So, you run a website called truthiscary.com. Yeah. And it's all... Um, Alternative topics. Conspiracy theories, supernatural stuff. Yeah, but it's not just that. No, I know. There's other things. Right, right. Okay. That's just what I looked up on there. You know, some health. Yeah. Uh, wellness, survival. I watched your video about bugging in. Mm -hmm. So there's some there's some interesting stuff, man. So what I want to talk to you about. Yeah. How come? In I'm I'm 24 years old. In my 24 years, I have not heard of one story of a real life cannibal. And in the last week, there's been four. Can you now because you have your ear to the supernatural pavement? And you, Supernatural. And you talk to ghosts. You talk to ghosts, and you, you're like on the speed dial from MythBusters and, <coughs> and all kinds of stuff. Can you tell me how long I have before I get eaten? Before you get eaten? Yeah. Wow. I'm a big dude. I'm a target. <laughs> I don't. Ha I don't have an answer nor a funny reply. It's, it's crazy though. Did you see any of the videos of the people getting eaten? 
No. Dude. I don't. Blinders. Blinders, that should be on your site. <laughs> people it, getting eaten by other people. It is on the site. Alright, alright, alright. It is on the I, I already went through that phase of learning the inner work the inner workings of the world. Yeah. Okay? So, you know, I, I've I've moved on, if you will. To what? To the enlightenment side. Okay. At, at some point, you have to get away from the dark and go to the light because that dark is going to bring your life down. It's going to bring it's going to bring that energy down. Real negative. <laughs> what was your breaking point? Like, what was the what was the story you were like, like you were learning about Chernobyl or something and weird mutant dogs or something? You were like, <laughs> you were like, you know what? I just gotta start making these. Shits. I, I don't I don't I don't know if there was a one story that made me have that revelation, but. When, when we put out a story about the government coming up with um, uh, machine dogs that run as fast as cheetahs. What? That bugged me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Yeah, but, you know, I mean, there's there's things out there that, that uh, you know, that you would never guess. That you, yeah. would, never, that you would never know. Because uh, the mainstream media has their handcuffed. There's only so much they can put out in that 30-minute yeah. nightly news that your mom and dad watch to get all their news. Yeah. So, you know, it's sites like truthtoscary.com that put the alternative topics out there. So if people want to know more than what they're getting in the news, go to Truth or Scary. They can learn about some of the fringe stuff outside of their normal mm -hmm. media mm -hmm. take. Mm -hmm. And it'll right. it'll follow with an anxiety attack, but they'll be you know <laughs> they can go there. Let me ask you, what made you want to start a website like that? Uh, me and the business partner back in studying. We were studying. We were doing a lot of studying, and uh, like this ish is crazy. We gotta put something together for it. Yeah, you know, a light bulb goes off. You know, being the entrepreneur, and um, you know, we put it together. We launched in July fourth, twenty ten. So we're coming up on two. It's a sick site too. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Like, and it's one of those sites where, um, like, you go check it out to read one thing, and you end up reading like, yeah, it's eight other things. Yeah, you 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 instantly stay. Either two things are gonna happen. Either you're gonna get bugged out fast, <laughs> and you're out. Bam, you're gone. Or you're on there for four hours. <laughs> I'm that kind of person who's been there for four hours because I like. And then you may not come back. I love watching documentaries <laughs> about like. Uh, you know, 9-11 conspiracies and, right, and right. all that kind of stuff. So right. I dig that stuff. So I, I love the site instantly. Sure. Um, all right. So but now you're moving on a little bit past that. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to the light. Yeah. And you're going to start doing some health coaching. Yeah. And yeah. I'm in, all sort of stuff. I'm in school right now uh, at the Institute of Integrative Nutrition. So, you know, the ability to, to, to work with individuals and, and, and help them. Uh, and advance them in their life is a beautiful thing. So who are who are you targeting? Are you going, you know, is it is this like an online kind of streaming thing, or are you going to be working one on one with people? I'm going to be working one on one with people. Okay. But also, you know, continue to do my lectures, and um, take those lectures and get them on the web. Yeah. Because I, I can go do a lecture at a library or at CSB or wherever. But uh, if I bring it to the web, I could reach out to more nice people. exposure. Sure. Sure. Going viral on truthiscary.com means something totally different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's good. So, how, how long did that take for you to come up with that? You know I'm quick. He had that you know, No, stop it. I'm real quick. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know. Some, sometime around lunch, I thought of that. Okay. That's good. Um, That's good. That was good. So, where can where can people go to find more info on the health coaching? Not truth is scary, I'm imagining. Eat the sunlight dot com. Eat the sunlight dot com. Yeah. That sounds good. That sounds cool. Yeah, I like that. Eat the sunlight. That's that's the brand name I'm working on for that uh, for that side of things. Okay. Yeah. Not to be confused with drinking like Sunny Delight. No. I'm assuming that's not part of the regimen. Eat the sunlight. Okay. All right. Dot com. Meaning. Meaning, you know with, people are. without the sun, you have no life. Right. Nor do the plants, nor do the animals. Mm -hmm. Photosynthesis. So the sun is 
everything. Our listeners are slow. Okay. So you have to describe to <laughs> So they may not be following. So if the sun, if the sun is giving life, right? Yep. Uh, when I say eat the sunlight, right? That's a way of saying also. Uh, like an organic type thing, like. Sure, eat your fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Because they needed that sunlight. Okay. So, besides truthandscary dot com and besides <laughs> eatthesunlight dot com, yeah, we got Rated Reese. Yeah. So Rated Reese is something you've been working on for a long time. Yeah. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of people involved. Yeah. And it's and there's a lot going on in the show. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of different things. Whether you're talking about news movie reviews or interviews you do a lot of celebrity interviews mm -hmm. and there's some skits in the middle mm -hmm. pieced around yeah that's where we come into we're helping out with that end of it Appreci we're excited about that appreciate it you know hopefully they come out well hopefully i mean lord willing the writing is a little so what made you want to start what made you want to <laughs> get going on rated reese like did you did you see a, a void in uh the market for a show like that i want to get off corporate radio you like how the, 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 the music just that dropped like, right there? Boy, yeah. You want to get off court radio, but you're so good at hitting that post. <laughs> um, you know, when you're when you're a part of something corporate. And if people don't know, Kevin W. Reese, a.k.a. K-Dub, On Air yep. Idiots, mm -hmm. throw up on yourself. Yeah. That's you. 937, that's me. Hot 937. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's not a knock against hot. It's just, in general, I see where things are going, and everything is going new media. So if I can have an opportunity to still do what I love under my own terms, yep. then that's going to be a better situation moving forward. Mm -hmm. What I didn't expect was for Rated Reese to become as big as, it as it's becoming and as overwhelming as it's becoming. I mean, at this point, we're at almost... 20 people um, and you know around five main people uh, including this guy right here it's Phil hello what Phil, Phil? <coughs> Phil in the house. Uh, Felipe the Great yeah, yeah so yeah it's overwhelming because you know you got the sketches you got the segments you got the live on air part and it's just this one big variety extravaganza yeah it's crazy. So it's 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 a hybrid between radio and television. You take radio and TV make love and give birth to this concept. You can't say make love on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hit the dumb button. Let's. We're gonna come back. We're gonna go back in the mix. We're gonna come back. Talk more about what's actually in rated Reese. Some of the things that are gonna be going on with it. We're gonna get right back in the mix. So all mixed up, DJ. C no scary do. stuff. No scary no stuff. Scary stuff. <laughs> No Chernobyl, all mixed up, DJ City and the Duke, we're yeah. live right now, 90.1 WECS, Willamette of Hartford. Yo. Yeah, boy. DJ City and the Duke.com, we got Kevin W. Reese in the building. Hello. How you doing, man? I'm all right. All right, so we're going to we're gonna finish up talking about Rated Reese. So tell the people what's different about Rated Reese versus maybe some other shows they're watching now. Like, what can they look forward to in this first episode? Well, I mean, it's like, it's like Howard Stern meets Dave Chappelle meets Oprah Winfrey. Ooh. So, just raunchy book club. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, I suppose. I suppose. So you know, it's going to be, like I said in the last talk break, it's a radio-TV hybrid. So, you're going to have the radio aspect like we're doing right now. Yeah. But they'll be able to see us. But instead of, and it's a talk show, there's no music. Instead of, you know, segueing and kicking it to, to, to music, to songs, we're going to pre-produced segments whether it's a sketch or whether it's something done on the green screen so we got a poet's tale love poet's tale where we're, we're going to be reading um some of your favorite rap songs in a poetry manner medieval times uh like the humpty dance um the humpty dance uh me so horny two live crew classics classics Classics, uh, nice. but but not classics too. Laffy Taffy. <laughs> <laughs> doing, I swear to God. We're doing, yeah, yeah, we're doing all that. And then, and then, and then we got some great characters like Giant Willie. Um, 
we got celebrity interviews. We already got Andrew WK, Joe Budden. We have uh, the Black Veil Brides. This isn't a hip hop show. This is everything. Covering we got, everything. We got Rob Van Dam, the wrestler. We have uh, Tony Rock, the comedian. So we got the, everybody. the game. And these are all. It's all done. It's all done. Just sitting there. We um, literally just filmed twenty four seven. Yeah, for the last year we've been shooting celebrity interviews. Wow. So we have about 40 just wow. waiting. It's going to be crazy, people. Yeah, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, don't have a date yet, but it, it's overwhelming, the sketches. Felipe over here is working, you know, He's it. No. Head, head writer. Yeah. Um, it's stressful, isn't it? Let's tease yeah. one of them. There's one I like that I know you guys have already yeah. wrapped. Yeah. Just so people get an idea of what it's going to be. The facts? Oh, yeah. The facts. Can you say the word on the air? Yeah, it's technically Veg? Oh, okay. Just, of hey, course. It's college radio. I didn't know. <laughs> we'll say veg all the time. Okay, all right. Twice a minute. I'm glad you're into the veg. <laughs> um, all right, so like, just so people can get a taste. <laughs> of the veg. <laughs> you, know. you walked into right, that. Now we're crossing the line. Oh, okay. All right. That was the line. <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> Blame it on me. So you wanna, I know it's Phil's sketch. You want to hop on? Sure. You want to tell us what it is? Sure, no doubt, no doubt. Um, we got a head writer, Rated Reese. Yeah, yeah, represent. Uh. <laughs> I'm writing right, things with my pencil. Yeah. Uh, I've never done this before. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, basically the way, the way it works is that, uh, you know, I had an idea one day, you know, that I thought, in a perfect world, what would my perfect world be? I was meditating when that was, what would my perfect world be? perfect world would be a world where you could check on a girl's sexual history as you would a car factory like car yeah. <laughs> you know, because you know they're salesmen too everybody's yeah. selling their yeah. stuff so you don't know where they've been you don't know where they've been so i feel like you know it's useful yeah to you, see. Know, you know if she's got some kind of virus yeah you know or some kind of weird birthmark you know, you know. Ew. You know, you gotta, anything. You gotta, you gotta. Throw up on yourself. I'm saying you gotta throw <laughs> up on yourself. You gotta be safe, man. Safe sex. It's about. It's a, it's it's all in the good spirit of safe sex and so, and stuff. So for all our listeners out there, next time you're with a girl, make sure you ask for that vag facts. And that, and that's what the sketch is about. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. about a guy who meets girl at bar. They end up at home, or wherever, and what, it's about man? to go down, and he asks for the vag facts and safe sex. She, she, trying to postpone, she like, tries to beat around the bush. <laughs> yeah. oh. Inappropriate. What up, bunch? Inappropriate. <laughs> so yeah, so that that's one sketch that that you'll see, you know, and plus celebrity interviews, a poet's tale. I I really think a poet's tale is gonna be the hit the whole show. I really do. It's a cool concept. I mean, we're we're, we're in it. We're at a castle. You know, we're at a castle. We're in. Is there full, a moat? <laughs> Yeah, there's a moat. Okay, are you, are you kidding me? You I'm think, sorry, you think we're not going to moat it out? Know, I'm, just, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> there's, Drawbridge? There's, there's fish in the friggin' moat, too, okay? All right, all right. All right. Salmon. I just want to make sure you weren't messing around. I know you have high standards. I want to I want to make keep you accountable. That's right. So, you know, we're in front of the castle, and we have the peasants out there in the, in, in the manor. And when we're done, Carl the idiot, I'm sorry. Carl David, his name is Carl David now. He's not Graduated. He's not the idiot intern anymore. He throws bread. Interns, interns. <laughs> you see what can happen? You can make it one day. Oh my god. He is on that hot 97 now, so. He, so anyway, he throws bread at the peasants. So we hook the peasants up with the bread after they're done. And then sometimes I'll kill them. Okay. Or Makes sense. Uh, or, right, or I'll give them I'll, I'll give a young lady a son. Cuz I no, I'm the king. Yeah, I got you. I'm the lord. Okay. Now, are we going to see the type of... Now, I'm just thinking, like, the only show I've seen that really compares this is, like, Game of Thrones. Am I going to see the same volume of nipples in the poet's tale that I see in Game of Thrones? No. no. Like, about half? Not in a poet's tale. Are you like, a tale. one to two nipple not, ratio? Not in a poet's tale, but you might see crazy, craziness during some of the sketches. There, there's no FCC. No, there, there's mip slips in these skits, and I, I wasn't at the taping? Oh. Okay. <laughs> There's no FCC, there's no rules, there's no handcuffs, there's nothing. That's what I like. So that that's why we're make, making this transition. So that's Rated Reese. Yeah. Tell people where they can find more info. Follow you on. You can go to KevinWReese.com. You got the dot com. Yeah. I know you got a YouTube channel. 
all kinds of crazy stuff. You can check out truthiscary.com. Yeah, you know what? The KevinWReese.com, it's so clean and simple that you don't even need the YouTube. It's all it's all there. Shouts to DJ Semi who uh, is working on it. He's doing a good job. Has he got you on that on that twenty dollar a month? He's <laughs> <laughs> got you on those big bucks. I definitely big pay checks, employees twenty dollars a month and Ruby Tuesday lunches. There you go. With salad, salad bars? bars? Yeah, salad of course, bars. man. You just oh, I didn't know that. You can't get an entree, <laughs> just a salad bar. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a big a big a big potato with it. <laughs> so we want to thank Kevin W. Reese for stopping in, talking conspiracy theories and eating the sun and <laughs> badge facts and all types of stuff. Don't forget the little machine dogs that yes, the, I almost forgot that the government has that will track you down. Wait, are, now do they look robotic or like could my dog be a robot? I just don't know. No, they look robotic. Alright, alright, so I would know. Okay. You remember the movie I Robot? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, but a dog. Actually, it's a cheetah. It's now not spotted, though. Now, now, now it's now not spotted, cheetah. it's metallic. You can, like, comb your hair in it. Hmm. Like, look at it, comb your hair. It's metallic. <laughs> On that note, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back. Lots more coming up. We got DJ Semi to spin for you in a little bit. And Know It All is here. Know It All is here. Hello, Know It All. We got the homie Apathy stopping in studio for an interview in a little bit. Alright. I'm just gonna hang out and chill. <laughs> Absolutely. We're gonna take a quick break, come right back, hour two, all mixed up, DJ City and the Duke, live right here.